Welcome to my channel viewers please endeavor to like, share and subscribe, so you will be the first to view brand new informations. A federal grand jury is investigating Donald Trump's handling of classified materials discovered in containers at Mar-a-Lago, and a felony professional stated the matter must be getting much more attention. The development indicates the Department of Justice believes a crime may additionally have been committed, and MSNBC's Frank Figliuzzi stated publicly available reporting already shows the 15 containers of top-secret materials are believed to have been saved in the White House dwelling before they had been boxed up and dispatched to Trump's non-public residence. 15 containers of categorized archives sitting in the residential wing of the White House doesn't sound like a mistake to me, wrote Figliuzzi, a former FBI unique agent. That sounds deliberate, and much less like an error, that should be attributed to staff. Virtually each day throughout my 25 years with the FBI, I dealt with categorized information. The it was my experience that staffers, his job is to understand and comply with the regulations and policies for coping with such data, don't intentionally spoil these guidelines, unless anybody at excessive degree, makes them destroy these rules. That's why I don't agree with this grand jury is targeting low-level staffers. Investigators will additionally choose to understand what substances have been in these boxes, and why the former president may additionally have taken them home with him. As Justice Department investigators study the documents, they'll be capable to see whether the contents held some price to Trump or those around him, and maybe decide whether or not Trump should gain from whatever's in these documents, Figliuzzi wrote. The we mustn't neglect that during Trump's term, his household participants parlayed their relationship with him into non-public earnings and that, whilst he was president, Trump's personal companies reportedly raked in $2.4 billion. The first step to fixing the Mar-a-Lago mystery is to get these archives into the palms of federal prosecutors and agents, Figliuzzi wrote. The convening of a grand jury suggests that can also have already happened. Now, we wait for the thriller to be solved. Last January, the PGA of America Board of Directors voted to relocate this week's 2022 PGA Championship away from Donald Trump's Bedminster Golf Club following the January 6 Capitol riots. The event, which starts on Thursday, will now take place at Southern Hill Country Club in Tulsa. Jack Nicklaus isn't always thrilled via this decision. During a current look on Michael Bamberger's Fire Pit Collective podcast, the golf legend claimed that Trump is a victim of cancel culture. Donald Trump might also be a lot of things, however he loves golf, and he loves this country, Nicholas said. He's a scholar of the sport, and an ambitious figure in the game. What he does in the future in golf, will rely on what the cancel culture will enable him to do. Unsurprisingly, the golf world had pretty a bit, to say about these remarks from Nicholas. Nicholas has long been an outspoken supporter of Trump, endorsing his presidential campaign in 2020. Trump was of course accused of inciting the January 6 insurrection through making claims of election fraud after his loss to Joe Biden.